In this example, we have an old incomplete deck of cards which contains four spades, seven hearts, five diamonds, and five clubs. Two cards are drawn at random without replacement. What is the probability that one is red and one is black? Recall that hearts and diamonds are red and spades and clubs are black. Okay, so what we need to do is first set up our probability what we're trying to figure out um, which would be the number of ways to choose um, I'm gonna rewrite this over here because I'm running out of room over there number of ways to choose and let me erase that real quick. Okay. Number of ways to choose one red and one black card. I need to find that out. And then our bottom half is going to be just the number of ways to choose two cards out of, okay, first let's see how many we have. We have four spades, seven hearts, five diamonds, and five clubs. So you add all those together and you should get, uh, let's see, how many are there? Uh, 21 cards, so yeah. It's gonna give us 21. Okay, um, so you know that, so you already know that the, the bottom half of, of your probability problem is going to be this. You're choosing two out of 21 cards. What we need to figure out is the top, okay? So, so how do we find out the number of ways to choose one red and one black card? Well, let's see. Um, I should have probably labeled these, um, and I will just, I'll just use red to represent this, okay. So, so your hearts, you have seven hearts, so that's seven red cards, and then you have five diamonds, well that's um, five more red cards, and we'll pretend these are, these are our, the, the four and the five, we'll pretend they're black, I obviously can't make them black because so you won't be able to see them. And those 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 are the spades. So 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 red cards we have um, twelve, and black cards um, I'll just represent in blue I guess. Black cards we have nine. So what we're trying to do is find the number of ways to choose one red card and one black card. And in order to do that, well that's it's pretty simple. 12, choose 1, and we're going to multiply, obviously, because, because we're choosing one red card and one black card, not one red card or one black card. And you always know that and means multiply or means add. So you're going to multiply 12, choose 1, times 9, choose 1. And it's convenient that notice that the 12 and the 9 add up to 21. And that's a good way to check yourself because that's your total number of cards so that should add up to 21 which is this number down here and then and then you're choosing 2, 1 each time and that's adding up to 2 and you can see that there. So that's a good way to kind of see if you if you set up your probability problem the right way. So, so this is what's going to go up here. I probably should have just wrote that up there in the first place. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oops, kind of want to take a step back, and um, I didn't really explain why it is that we're using combinations here, because I think it's, this one's pretty obvious, but it can be very difficult when you're, when you're new to this stuff. Okay, so just the way the problem's read, it says that you are, what is the probability that um, if, if two guards are drawn at random without replacement, 
okay, you know you're not putting them back, and, and you're drawing them at random, that would that would signify to me that you're probably going to be choosing here. And what is the probability that one is red and one is black? Okay, and we know that order does not matter. It doesn't. It it clearly doesn't matter what order we choose these cards in. Um, I just actually did that. Um, because it doesn't matter. You can you can choose one red one, and then and then you're just choosing one red one, one black one, it, it, or you could choose one black one and one red one. It it doesn't change the problem at all. What what order you choose these cards in? So so that's another signal to me that this is a combination problem where you're just going to be choosing in order. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we have th we have our whole problem set up now, and and we also we, I did talk about why you multiply, and and I think that's pretty obvious. I mean, if you're choosing one and the other, so it's not like you're adding these probabilities together, and, or they're separate experiments. It's it's all one experiment. You're you're choosing one then the other. Okay, so so c of twelve one you know is going to be twelve without even have to work it out, and and. C of 9, 1 is going to be 9, so that's just going to give you 12 times 9, which is going to give you 108. So I'll put that down here, over C of 21, choose 2. And, and 21, choose 2, let me get some room here, get this out of the way, and which, which um, if you use, I think, the, the shorthand method of doing combinations without writing everything out. You can just take this number um, times one less than that number by as many times as this number is here, and that's in this in this case that's two. And and I think you can understand why that is if you just look at the formula, which is in your book and is is in the lecture and probably in the chapter one formulas reference page that we have under chapter one or chapter one. So and then you're going to divide that by 2 times 1 or just 2 and and to make it easy on yourself you can just mark out that 2 and mark out that 20 and make that a 10 so that's just a very simple 21 times 10 and you know that you just add a 0 and, and that makes that 210 so so then you have the answer to your problem right there is the probability of choosing one red card and then choosing one black card is 108 over 210 or other uh, reduced it would be 18 over 35 and that's it.